morning guys just had some breakfast and then i edited one video so far this morning as well as did some organizational stuff i also printed out the birth plan because now we're at almost 34 weeks so technically baby J can come anytime although we really want him to come full term just because of everything that's going on and just because it's healthier obviously so i'll show you a quick overview of what the birth plan looks like in just a second but today I have several zoom calls because it's Monday and then I think I'm going to edit the two more videos that I filmed and then they'll all be done like everything that I have pre-filmed will be edited. So here is the first page of the birth plan. I'm covering up personal information. It has um, blanks for your name, partner's name, doctor, hospital, what kind of birth you're having, stuff like that. Um, there's also spots for support people, people that you don't want in the hospital room. Then what you want to wear, recording, food, pain management, C-section, students. There's a spot for calming methods, if you want to do a water birth, labor positions, if you need to be induced. Monitoring, episiotomy, placenta, after birth, pushing. And then also how long you want to stay in the hospital, any miscellaneous, if you want to have the baby go to the nursery, and any notes. Again, this is just for planning purposes. Don't use it without the input of your doctor. But you can download this on our blog. I'll drop the link in the description. If you sign up for the newsletter, you get this and several other printables. So you should definitely take a look at the options. Our hospital bags are also 90% packed, except for stuff that we use every day, like... Uh, I don't know, face wipes and stuff like that. So even though I'm a planner and I would love to pack all that, I can't do that because literally we use it every day. <laughs> Today was a good day. Pretty chill. Finished up all my videos and did some sketching. I was going to look for a pediatrician for Baby J, but we actually had to figure out like the actual insurance company that Isaac's um, job does because we don't know for sure what company it is so I can't find a pediatrician yet so guess that'll be my new project whenever we hear back from his company hey guys welcome back for another day today on the docket is doctor's appointment first and then I'm gonna be going ahead and picking up some stuff from Walmart and I also had something printed at Office Depot so that's our three stops for this morning I already did some work this morning with exporting videos that the announcements that I do for work and also worked on some side business stuff, put up one blog post to be scheduled this week, and then I worked on some gifts as well, so that was fun. Dr. Appointment went well. She says that I have one more two-week appointment and then I'm up to one meeting per every week, so that's nice. Now I'm getting groceries at Walmart and then I had a coupon at Bye Bye Baby for some bottles. I actually had two coupons. I had a manufacturer's coupon and then I had an actual like store coupon. So I stacked those to get a couple extra bottles. But yeah, it's, I'm very tired right now. I need to rest and lay down and chill because otherwise Miss Pepper here is gonna tell me like, hey, if you don't do that, you're gonna be on the floor. Right now she's sitting in my lap to make sure I'm not going anywhere, which I can't really go anywhere because I'm driving, but that's okay. Just got home, now I'm making some steamed carrots for baby food. Some way you see the carrot tops as a bonus. <laughs> Morning guys, right now I'm doing a Zoom call for work. And then I'm also going to make some baby food this morning and watch a few more um, professional development videos. So, pretty chill morning. It's kind of nice. Cut out the month cards that I have printed for Baby J. So I'm going to put this one and a couple others in the bag for the hospital now. Well, work is all done. Now I'm just chilling here with Pepper. I think I might actually go work on making a binky clip with the giant stripping that I just got in the mail. So, I guess I'll just do a little DIY for you guys. So first things first, you're going to need 24 inches of whatever ribbon you want to use, and then 5 inches of elastic. This doesn't have to be two-sided because you're going to fold it over. 
because as you can see this one doesn't have a design on the other side this guy is the like what is this eighth of an inch i guess thickness i know elastic's hard to come by right now but that's what i use and i had some left over from when i made the other binky clips i got these measurements honestly from measuring a store-bought binky clip that i had when i decided to start making my own you're also going to need a suspender clip or some other kind of clip for the end and then thread of whatever color matches your ribbon and obviously a sewing machine you can probably hand sew these as well because it's pretty simple but it's a lot easier with a sewing machine so first things first you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to thread it through so that you see both sides have the design on the outside and you're just going to put the clip in the middle of the ribbon don't worry about getting it like super exact um, down here because you're going to sew that up what matters is that you have these ends matching pretty well after that you're going to fold over the ends so that it makes a nice seam on the outside keep those guys together and then you're going to take your elastic fold that in half as well and then this guy you're going to stick in between the two ribbon pieces if I can get that to focus we'll see there we go so you can see it's in between two pieces and then the two pieces are also folded over right now you want to make sure it goes pretty far down so that it gets a good anchor but not so far that you're losing the loop up here first step is you're going to sew down right on where the folds are placed. My folds are kind of small, honestly. You can probably make these bigger so it's easier to make sure that you sew down the whole thing. And you're going to go over this at least three times because you don't want this elastic falling out. The next step you can kind of see up here is making a rectangle all the way around and then an X across the middle. I'll show you how I was doing that when I get to the bottom, just because the top is really hard to start. And as you can see, I kind of messed it up anyway. This reason right here is why I don't sell them, because I feel like they wouldn't be good enough quality. But to get to the bottom, you're going to sew straight down the sides, it's pretty close to the edge, but not like so close that it's coming apart and you're not actually catching the ribbon. Now you're not going to go all the way to the end, because otherwise your foot's going to get caught on the clasp there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up the foot but keep the needle down you see the needle is still in the fabric I'm gonna use that to turn the clip right like that so it's sideways now put the foot back on move out the clip as far as it needs to be and then I'm going to sew straight across. And then again, I'm going to stop at that edge with the needle down. Lift up the foot. Turn it again. This is why you see you can't have the clip too close to where you're sewing. Put the foot back down. Then we're going to go forward a little bit. Turn one more time. Well, not one more time. This is one more time for the square. And this is also really hard to do one handed, but it's fine. <laughs> so then we're going to go again straight across. Now, this time when we go down, we're going to angle for the other corner right there. Go straight through diagonally through I suppose. I always do a double stitch on the bottom or top of my little cross box thing. Whatever this is called. There's probably a name for this stitch but I'm not super technical into like sewing terminology even though I've done a lot of sewing. So I'm gonna go across there and then we're gonna make our last part of the X that will secure 
the ending of the binky clip and then we'll turn it one more time this is really the final time so that we can sew straight down the other side like you see i've sewn on this one side so then once you get back to the top you are all sewn together and you're ready to go you can see i did much better on this x here versus the other x which is weird even though because the top well it's not weird the top one is always hard to do honestly it ends up looking really messy for me and then even though I did it one-handed, there's just a lot more space to work with this one. So if you guys end up making your own binky clips, let me know how it goes. I've made like 80 bajillion of them. <laughs> so they're also way cheaper than buying them. So there's that. And since this is just regular gross grain ribbon, 100% washable. Don't dry these though, obviously, because of the whole like plastic and, and metal in the clips and everything. And also the, the elastic gets weird. If you end up drying it, I also suggest putting these in like a delicates bag when you wash them, just because the elastic can get caught on things. And then if it pulls out, obviously it'll be really hard to fix. So there you go. Morning guys. Just did a couple P videos for my work. And then I posted a couple new things on the Etsy shop. I'll drop the link to those down below. Right now my husband is having his like yeah, job review thing in the other room so i'll stop recording for now isaac had to go do some work stuff so i'm just laying on the couch i am doing some exercises because even though my heart condition keeps me from doing most exercises i try to get at least some stretches or something going on to try and keep in a, you know this is terrible shape but a little bit of shape while i still can't take my meds I honestly never thought I would see the day that I actually wanted to go back to exercise because I've spent pretty much my entire life detesting exercise until like last August, <laughs> literally right before I got pregnant. I was finally in like a good zone and like a good habit for exercise. So that's going to take a little bit of getting used to, to go back to where I was and all the quarantine and everything is also not helping. Plus, it's like super hot in Arizona, so it's like the world just does not want me to do any kind of exercise, apparently. <laughs> I got motivation to film another quick video. This one is on blurring information, specifically in Premiere, because I don't know super well the other editing software to be able to do that. But this has been super important for some recent videos that I've done, like my Walmart one where I had to block out my address, and also the Pregnancy Apps one where I had to block out Baby J's name. So, if you guys need a tutorial on that, that this will be up. I mean, in all in all honesty, this is probably going to be up in a while. <laughs> I have so many scheduled videos that are coming up that this one's going to take a second. So, another Etsy order came in, so Puppy's going to help me package it up. Right, Pepper? Right? It's not nap time. We got to package up the order morning guys i'm out to drop off a package at the post office and then also pick up two red box movies because i had two free movie coupons which is pretty awesome although side note about that i accidentally checked out with an expired credit card and credit cards is how they um release the movies to you at the red box thing so uh don't do that because <laughs> then you have to call red box customer service they have to cancel your order and then you have to put the order in again but i still got to use my promo code so i still got two free movies so that was worth it but check to make sure that your credit card is not expired when you're checking out post office is accomplished now i'm gonna go home have some lunch which is probably gonna be leftovers and then originally the plan is to film a video about how i meal plan for the week and grocery shop and stuff like that we'll see if that gets done because it depends on my motivation and then i also might put some well not put up some etsy things go ahead puppies go ahead I might not put up the, these things on the, my Etsy shop, but I need to design a couple games. Right now, I'm in a baby shower, like, blue watercolor theme package that I'm building. And I need to make some of the baby shower games. So, we'll see if that gets them too. We're making some Tuscan pasta for dinner. And then I think I'm going to turn off the vlog and scream and everything else. And spend some time with Isaac for our anniversary. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
morning guys. I'm not making breakfast burritos so far this morning. And then I'm gonna try and like I said, film a video as I dodge the robot that's vacuuming right now. But I'm trying to film a video and then also work on some printables this morning. So we'll see how far I get. Burritos turned out tasty. Now I'm gonna just chill, then do some computer work and then maybe do the video. We're headed out to Isaac's parents' house, so I probably won't film the rest of the day. If this is the last clip, I will see you guys next week.